Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woken. I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Happy post New Year, uh, not New Year's, what the hell am I talking about? I'm way in the future. I guess it's Boxing Day for some people, so happy Boxing Day to you. It's post Christmas, and I'm taking some time off of enjoying Christmas by doing nothing to talk about the new fake Grand Order campaigns, because the New Year's campaign, that's why I had New Year's in the mind, has started. So that's going to be today's video. Let's get over it right now, or let's go over it right now. So campaign summary, the English version of a go is having a countdown. There we go. Um, it's going to be here until obviously the day before New Year's or just when New Year's begins right before. The release date should be on the 29th. Oh, well, according to this, it's a oh no, tune in for the Fake Grand Order Developer Diary where they're going to talk about upcoming campaigns. This is where we'll probably learn when the next event, which is going to probably be, um, uh, Space, uh, Space, Saber Wars 2. I don't know what I was going to call it, Space Wars, but that's not what it's called. And you can watch it right here. So, boom. I'll see if, I'll be watching it for sure on that day. New Year's Countdown Login Bonus. We'll be celebrating a New Year's Countdown Login Bonus to celebrate the new year. Yay. Starting on the 27th, we got one Golden Fruit. You have to have beat it in at least Fuyuki to get all these, by the way. One golden fruit, another golden fruit, and then on third day, golden fruit and one St. Quartz, then two St. Quartz, and then finally, summon ticket on the final one. And that is for if you log in, uh, I guess at least this many days? Yeah, that makes sense. Mm, login bonuses will be distributed according to the login period, not your number of logins. Each login bonus cannot be claimed unless you fulfill its eligibility requirements. There you go. Okay. And then we also have AP cost, one half for all Mystic Code quests, limited time. Uh, AP cost for all Servant Rank Up quests, limited time is half AP off, which is I'm going to be taking advantage of that. AP cost for all Servant Interludes, limited time, um, also half off. And then there's also a banner that comes to this because... <laughs> Listen, Muramasa is coming up on New Year's. I'm going to tell you what these two do. Don't summon on this banner. You should know not to summon on this banner. I'm the world's biggest Iskandar fan in the world, and I really like Hukasai. There's not enough to remember how to say her name. But don't summon on this banner. <laughs> Unless you like deeply love either one of these two, you really shouldn't be summoning. So let's look up the pickup summon. Of course, these two will be on it. <clears throat> this is how the schedule is going to be looking. So it's going to be very important. It's going to be on Tuesday from the start, Iskandar Solo. So that's your best bet of getting Iskandar. Because the next day, it's Iskandar and Hokusai sharing the banner. Worst time. And then you're going to have to wait two more days. And then Hokusai separate banner on Friday and Saturday. Also, why my boy Iskandar not... Why couldn't he get a day? Why couldn't he get Monday? What's up? What's up with that? That's a clear bias. In terms of what these units do, let's go over them. There's no featured four star on this. Let's go over what they do. Thankfully, I have this pulled up. Uh, we'll go with Hokusai, because that's the one most people would probably be summoning for, unless you are a big Zero fan like I am. But anyway, you have one quick, two arts, two busters. Uh, four, six, four, and uh, four extra. First skill, all thing in nature, all A+, plus. grants self-evasion for one turn, charges on MP gauge, 30%. Second skill, father-daughter bond A, increase own uh, arts performance for three turns, increase own buff removal resistance for one turn, increase own debuff resistance for one turn. Arts, buff removal, debuff resistance, and the countdown is, of course, uh, 5 at level 10. And then third skill, which gets a... Uh, buff eventually and her first strengthening i don't remember when it comes up but actually if i click this maybe it'll tell me ah uh, it did tell me damn it let me go back mm, there you go spring and full bloom summoning campaign this happened in 2021 uh so yes it is going to be coming this year and sometime in april then i think yes let's yes 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 okay um, Nom de Plume is terrestrial octopus. Grant self on attack, activate buff for three turns, and inflict defense down for three turns to enemies when attacking with the arts cards. Cruise on critical star absorption of arts cards for three turns and gain crit stars. The defense minus is 20%. The arts absorption is 500%. The stars gained from it is 15. 
And before strengthening, the only thing it does is give defense down, and that's of 20%. So, her passive skills, existence outside of the domain EX, item construction B, territory creation D, divinity B, and then her append skill, which the third one is a bonus against berserkers, making her a foreigner that just is super, really super duper duper good at taking down berserkers. Noble Phantasm, anti-army, to deal damage to all enemies, and then deals extra damage if they are of the man attribute. 450% damage at level 1, 5 hits, and 750% if you get her NP5. The bonus against the man is 150% at charge level 1, and if you get it all the way to 5 charges, it's 200% bonus. Ah, uh, Hokusai is good, I think. Yeah, she's definitely an art slooper, um, because all arts with AoE and a decent number of hits, which is this is a decent number of hits, can be made into an art slooper. She does a lot of bonus damage when they get hit by arts cards specifically, which is nice. Um, she increases her arts performance, she charges her N own MP gauge if there's ever a situation where you going double Castoria plus an MP gain CE is not enough for some case. She can give her own her, her own self NP gauge at that point, and she's a foreigner, so she's super effective against berserkers. And there's plenty of all berserker nodes that can be AOE damaged. Um, and then her buff skill is actually pretty good too. So I've always liked her. It's always been a shame that I've never been able to pull her because I would really like her. Um, uh, not enough to probably actually summon though. <laughs> As much as I am a fan of her, thankfully, they gave out a free summer version, and I'm already using a lot of other... A lot of other uh, arts units that can kind of loop already. So I don't really need... Uh, the, whatever niche she would be filling, which would be bonus damage against Berserkers, um, I already have... Who are specifically the man attribute? I already have, like, Summer Musashi, who can... Who is a berserker who's bonus against all and she does go type neutral against all which is also very very good but again i go back to musashi whose only main weakness is that she can't farm nodes of all foreigners and when is the last time you've ever seen a node with only foreigners in it not very much but besides her i have plenty of others that when i need a specific case like for example if i need a specific saber one then i know specifically i have like summer to mo stuff like that so she definitely fits in better if you're someone who is just looking for an overall and your other aoe um arts dudes just aren't cutting it for you um but that being said if you just absolutely love hokusai then none of this matters because you can just easily use her with castoria and, and at the end of the day isn't that all that matters kind of for most units i would say yes so there you go there's hokusai iskandar aka the king of conquerors of the distant lands everyone's favorite big man wants to fight 1v1 bill clinton who doesn't love iskandar the answer is very salty fate stay night fans his buster kit is two buster, two arts, one quick, active skill, charisma A, oh hell yeah, get 20% baby, second skill, conquest tactics A, increase MP damage for three turns, increase party crit damage for three turns, 20% and 30%, but if you only have it in military tactics, enjoy that 18% MP damage baby. Third skill, Lightning Conqueror EX. Increase own Buster performance for one turn. One turn of pure big Buster. Increase own Crit Star generation rate by 50% for one turn. That'll go great with the Buster cards that you will be using for one turn. <laughs> Cooldown 6, Passive Skills, Magic Resistance D, Writing A+, Divinity C, giving a whopping 11% to those two, to that one quick card that he has. Append Skills, a bonus damage against Lancers to... I don't know why he would have a bonus against Lancers. He fought Deer Mood. Did he ever fight Deer Mood? Does he even know Deer Mood is a person? He would. Anyway, Rank EX, Noble Phantasm, which he gets from his second interlude. Anti-Army, 8 hits, Buster, deals damage to all enemies, 600% damage if you get an MP5, 400% at MP1, uh, reduces their defense for 3 turns, reduces their crit attack chance for 3 turns, 10% defense, crit chance down 10% at charge level 1, and all the way to 500%, you get 30% and 50% crit chance. Uh, defense down is 30% and crit chance is 50%. Iskandar, what can I say about him? He's extremely bad, is probably the thing I would say about him. Actually, that's a little bit unfair. 
Um, he's a big Buster man. But the problem is, is that there's other big Buster dudes for specifically Ryder that already do what he does better. And they also have NP chargers. I've used Iskandar a whole bunch, and he's really, really good when you only need to take... If you just need some group of... In this case, it would be casters just dead. Iskandar's your man. He will kill them dead. He does more damage than any of the other... Um, actually, I don't know that specifically, because it's been a very long time since they did it. But uh, think of Buster Ryder. He's still one of the top ones. So he's very excellent at doing one thing, and that is killing, and that is killing, and that is nothing else. He has no follow-up. He has no way to MP charge himself. His specific, like, uh, overcharge effect doesn't really benefit the whole team, because chances are they will be dead in an AoE sense. So not really the great greatest in the world um lightning conqueror was at a time pretty good it's not good anymore it's kind of like a little bit funky because the 50 percent to buster for one turn is kind of okay but then the increase to star just crit star generation i don't 100 percent understand this is uh first skill is actively bad every single unit that has charisma is like in a stuck like this oh my god every shout outs to everyone who has this skill i think gil has still has this skill as well yeah charisma is a bad skill that they have to buff on everyone like because of how like just it's a it's a nothing effect from the very beginning of the game so i think every time it's ever gotten buffed it's always been buffed to an extremely good uh skill afterwards like for example uh ushis goes into six secrets of the thunder and gale which is much better this is much better so i think eventually iskandar will have this buffed and he'll be much better for it but until that happens like he's just kind of okay and he can do a lot of damage but that's about all you can really hope for and want for which is a shame because i really do like him um, I try and use him the best I can whenever there's a situation that calls for it. But the short, the small answer is that there's not really a lot of situations that call for him at the moment. <laughs> uh, it's kind of sad. Um, even with the new Buster metas coming up, it's just not really a lot of things. Maybe he's a little bit better on a Morgan-style team. Um, and being able to just do big big damage in a very short burst is extremely effective when all your team comp is three aoe servants that just are looking to kill real quick but the problem is is again you would have to then give him kaleidoscope or something or the others would have to support him just because he doesn't have any np charge himself and he doesn't really help himself in any other matter but there you go that's a skandar i still think he's really cool i man i love this unit so much in terms of who he is that I hope that he one day gets the buff that he deserves. Look at him. Look at him on this horse and the way he changes sizes in each one. Fantastic. But that's it. Those are the two units that are kind of leading up to New Year's. There's really no reason to summon. There really is no reason to summon. Keep holding on stuff for Muramasa as we get closer to that. I will start releasing videos about what is probably coming up for the future of january and getting you ready for that so look forward to that but for now i'm gonna go back to chilling so enjoy your boxing day or whatever you're celebrating today maybe you're just having a nice day enjoy that day and i'll see you guys in the next video that i decide to release until next time goodbye